guys, this is Brandon Lee coming to you from the home lab environment and have a neat topic for you today. We're going to look at the lifecycle manager and specifically looking at uh, updating your vSphere ESXi host using the image configuration. Uh, now, as most of you are, are aware, if we go to updates and baselines, um, we have the ability to use the vSphere Update Manager. Now, this is the uh, solution historically that we've managed ESXi and vSphere cluster lifecycle management for uh, several uh, versions. Uh, so vSphere Update Manager, great product. It's uh, done its job. It's uh, stable, works well. But new with vSphere 7 is something called the image uh, mechanism for updating your ESXi host. And that's part of uh, this new mechanism that's known as Lifecycle Manager. So no longer are we seeing vSphere Update Manager here. It's now all under the umbrella of the Lifecycle Manager. So when you go to Updates now, you have the ability to click this button, manage with a single image. Now, what that does is it starts the process to set up an image to apply to your vSphere cluster. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, so we are going to click the button, set up image. And what you will see once this loads is you basically are configuring the image at this point. Now, where this is superior to vSphere Update Manager is this new image-based process allows you to not only define the vSphere update or image level of your vSphere ESXi installation, but you also have the ability to add vendor add-ons, firmware and drivers or other components. So essentially I can create a single image that defines the vSphere version, the hardware firmware levels of a specific OEM vendor server that I might have, uh, vendor add-ons or other components that I can make as part of this image. Now, vSphere Lifecycle Manager is, with the image-based approach, is a declarative uh, model or desired state model, in other words. So basically, you are defining how you want the cluster to look from an updates perspective, components perspective, drivers, firmware, et cetera, et cetera, and creating that image as part of this image-based process. Now, one thing I want to uh, point out if you notice, the message is convert to an image. So this is a one-way process. You must continue to use vSphere Update Manager uh, because once you convert your cluster to the Lifecycle Manager image-based update process, it's a one-way conversion. It's locked in forever for that cluster. Now, can you after having a host in a vSphere Lifecycle Manager image-based cluster move this host out to a vSphere Update Manager uh, based cluster? Absolutely. But this host object will forever have that image-based uh, process flipped on and will not be able to be unconfigured, at least in this version of vSphere. Uh, I always think never say never because settings and configurations and how VMware wants to approach this in the future very well could change. So manage with a single image. We're going to say set up image as I had clicked before, clicked out of it. So we're going to select uh, vSphere ESXi 7.0 Update 2A. Now A is the latest release of Update 2 which fixed a nasty bug in the upgrade process that uh, left some host uh, in an unbootable state. So we're going to select update 2A and if I wanted to here I could select my vendor add-ons firmware 
but however you may realize and notice this is a nested cluster uh, I used building William Lamb's vSphere nested cluster script so these are clusters I've quickly spun up with that automated process so I don't have any firmware I can add to the cluster or remediate the cluster with since it's a nested environment so what I'm going to do I'm just going to click save and what this does at this point it starts checking a few things about your cluster it checks the uh, hardware compatibility uh, for any issues it does some other health checks uh, of your cluster your vSphere cluster so at this point we have uh, said okay I'm going to use an image that image is going to contain 7.0 update 2 and essentially you're going to see a few things it's going to warn you about some standalone VIBs that will uh, get uninstalled which that's kind of a normal thing that you will see going into this uh, at least I've, in my testing I think every cluster I have uh, looked at has warned about a few standalone VIBs that are going to be replaced or removed uh, but essentially every host uh, gets that uh, warning so now what we're going to do is I'm going to check compliance check image compliance so what this is going to do is it's going to say okay I'm going to look at your hosts and based on the image that you have configured whether that image contains ESXi only or it contains ESXi plus vendor add-ons firmware all of those things uh, it will compare your host to that image so uh, if you will notice here host is out of compliance with the image so it's saying your host does not meet up with what this image uh, is expecting your host to look like so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say finish image setup and it's going to say are you want to are you sure you want to continue let's say yes finalize image and if you notice here you will get the converting your cluster and it's already done but essentially it's saying we're converting your cluster to the image based process so at this point it is uh, checking the compliance of the host in the cluster so now the image compliance has been validated we see that uh, all of the hosts are showing that they need to be remediated uh, host is out of compliance with the image so one thing you can do is you can click this button remediate all to work its way through all of the the ESXi hosts in the cluster automatically or you can click individually each host select actions and then remediate so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to show you a couple of things here so I'm going to say remediate this brings up the remediation impact uh, wizard so basically this is showing you uh, what it thinks the impact to this operation is going to be uh, accepting the EULA and basically starting the remediation so I'm going to uh, pretend that I read everything and have clicked the button so now what it's going to do is start the process of remediating the host so now it has made it to the process of starting to install the image on the particular ESXi host so we're going to let this roll for just a little bit longer and come back when the host has uh, finished the reboot process as we see here it's already started to reboot the host and so the host uh, shortly will become disconnected and the reboot process will begin and it should come back online with the latest uh, ESXi 7.0 update 2a so we're going to pause the video and come back once the process is complete so now I'm back the host in question that has rebooted uh, the ESX one host as you can see the version now is 7.0.2 1786 7351 so as you can see the other hosts in the cluster 
that the image has not been applied to are still running the 7.01 release. So Lifecycle Manager Image Process has successfully remediated the host and brought the host in line with the image that was expected and configured in vSphere Lifecycle Manager. So I hope this little run through of the Lifecycle Manager image process uh, using that image-based process makes sense. And I think as most gain familiarity with the way the vSphere Lifecycle Manager image-based process works, it's gonna be uh, a great tool, uh, especially since you can in one fell swoop take care of not only vSphere components, but also OEM firmware, vendor add-ons, drivers, etc. So hope you enjoyed the video. This is Brandon Lee once again with Virtualization How To. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel uh, for further videos. Uh, see you guys soon.